morning, good morning, good morning. All right, so today we have some fun things that we're gonna be doing. We are putting a gate on our front driveway, finally, because we've had some issues with some people heading up there that shouldn't be there, so we're gonna finally put the metal together to get the gate. We need to stop by the metal shop to get extra metal because I miscalculated by 24 feet. Just a little miscalculation. But my brother's with me today, say hi. Hey. <laughs> he's he is actually a good welder, uh, so he's going to be handling a lot of the metal welding, and I'm going to be doing a lot of the prep work, and hopefully we think we're going to actually have enough time to get it hung and get it uh, painted and get everything set, so we should have a gate by the end of today. By the way, everyone, this is Lord Conrad. I thought I'd share that with you guys. All right, uh, check it out. Alrighty, so we picked up our metal. Uh, we kind of laid out all of the scribe marks and everything like that. So let me show you what we're doing. We've laid out on the uh, pillars, we've laid out, I don't know if you can see this, those little marks there. And what that is, is that's our plate. So essentially, we're gonna take these plates, we're gonna drill holes and lock them in like this, and then what that will do will allow us to attach these to the plate on one side and then mount it to the actual uh, pillar itself. Then we're gonna come down and bring all of uh, the metal, the, the upright beam, level it out, make sure it kind of looks right and scribe it all in. Then we'll go up, we'll weld it, and then we'll see how much adjustment we need once we hang them. So here we go. That. We're gonna fire up the generator so it's about to get real loud, but <laughs> cue the overlay music. This is actually the one I was worried about because it's on kind of a weak spot on the wall. So we're going to see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, it broke away. But I think it won't be a problem because it's all surface. So we got all the holes drilled. It's definitely a lot harder to control uh, where that hole lands than I thought. Uh, but hopefully because it grips from the back, the way these work, these anchors, is as you screw in, it flares the end out like that. And so it's gripping from the back, so the front should have some wiggle room. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So we'll, uh, we'll see. These are weaker parts in the wall and it just broke out. But as I got deep, it was actually just fine. It, it actually grabbed and started hanging on. So it's just all surface stuff. So I think it'll, I think it'll mount just fine. But uh, this rammed earth is hard, hard stuff. Like it's, it's having a harder time getting through this than it is the concrete foundation. Um, so that's good, that's encouraging. The stock size of these, even tight, only allowed for that much. So this goes into the wall, this goes over, and the problem is when you put a 3 8 piece of steel in there, it, uh, there's not enough threads. So what we did is we trimmed them down to get more threads. Now that does reduce some of the weight capacity that this is able to hold. But considering we're using four and each one of these can hold 1,600 pounds, we're way good. So now we ran into another problem where when we hammer this in, 
we can only go in to right here, and then we have too many threads sticking out. So what we did is we cut the bottom off of one of them, made a little sleeve, and let me show you how it works. Here we go, like this. So basically take our piece, stick it in there, and then run our little extra piece over and hammer away. And then we just basically line up so the threads go in. And then we hope that our holes are drilled correctly on our pieces of steel. <laughs> Because there's really no changing where the holes are in this. We don't want to overdrive it because we want to leave enough threads with the 3 8 on there. So now that those are there, we theoretically. Please work. That one's a little off, so we'll do. Oh, that one is sunk in, isn't it? Like that. that whole thing about using a magnet, you needed it. Set that on. We need to tighten it down. Okay, now that works. And our hope was we'd be able to use some of these for adjustment, but I don't know that that's going to be the case anymore. <laughs> and my other hope is that once we tighten these, these shouldn't sink back in. I'm hoping. Okay. Maybe I should have read the instructions in the box. Let me think. Probably fine, right? Now we can tighten these. And this is now mounted on here. <laughs> so bad. Oh yeah, that's solid. Solid as a rock. You're not 1,600 pounds, but you're close, right? Pretty close. Yeah, so we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom, and then we're basically going to hold this up and scribe where it needs to be to clear all the things. Like that. So now we gotta do the bottom one. We'll see where we get. All right, so we got uh, the plates welded up. TJ's working on finishing that right now. Look at that. He's basically making one of these. Look at those sweet, sweet welds. So that's, that's final weld because we tacked it and it was good to go. So he's making another one of those. How's it coming? Well, it ain't coming off easily, that's for sure. Yeah. So we're welding that up. The other thing he just did was we did an initial tack of this six foot. So we tacked that on and we tacked that on. And what that's gonna do is give us the ability to check it, make sure it mounts and then level and well, actually just slightly off level because we know it's gonna sag, so we're anticipating a little sag. So we're gonna hook it up, and then if that's good, he'll do the final weld on that, and then weld it to the frame of the 
rest of the gate. So here we go. All right, the gate, the gate is starting to come together. That's what it's gonna look like. TJ's lining everything up and cutting and doing all the hard work. And I'm doing what I do best. We need longer clamps. Okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about getting you some longer clamps. Something tells me he's being facetious. I think he wants a shorter clamp and yet he keeps asking for longer clamps. Hmm. Tacked in place. The fun part is picking this thing up and turning it so I can get to that back corner. Well, why don't I give you a hand with that? Yeah, that'd be helpful. All right. You hear that, everyone? I need to go be helpful. <laughs> we got our gate piece welded up. Uh, the hinges are skip welded, so that way if we have to change them, we can. Uh, these hinges are completely welded, so we're going to attach these to the wall and then hang the gate for the first time. And hopefully all goes well. So, here we go. Look how pretty it is. Super legit. Boy, that sucked down tight, didn't it? Where's it going? Right. Well. It's going nowhere. All right, now we can officially test fit this. I'm gonna see if I can set y'all up so you can see it. This is the moment where we either go yay or oh, we didn't think of that. <laughs> You're the worst. Oh, I need the ball bearings. The ball bearings. Uh, cool. Go get them. I got this. Hey! Like we know what we're doing, kind of. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we knew what we were doing. Oh yeah, it's fully? hitting. We need to. We need to take the corner out of that uh, right. that piece. But that is pretty swell, man. Let's see how far will it open. Oh yeah. All the way. All the way. All the way. How far will it open? All, All the way. way. Look at that. <laughs> so we got the gate hung and we are tired. Uh, so we pulled it back off the hinges. We stored it in our shipping container and we still have some other stuff that needs to be done like um, uh, the caps and it needs to be painted and all of that stuff. So that's it for today. Thanks for joining our adventure.